DBM is important questions part 2 SQL. Question number 2. What are the basic types in SQL and explain the basic schema definition in SQL. If your question is about like this, your answer should be first list out all the basic type of, or types of data used in SQL. So what are the basic data types used in SQL? First one is care, where care, int, numeric, small int, real, float. So these all things come under the basic data types of SQL. So first of all, let's try to understand what is meant by a data type. So data type is something like a data item which is going to define the type of data or the type of values that can be inserted inside it in a programming language. So any data item that defines the type of values that can be inserted is called data type. So first type is your care in bracket you find n. So what is this care? This data item will accept only the string or the set of characters. So set of characters in the sense alphabets. So if you're writing your name, for example, the name of a person is a collection of alphabets so, or the characters. So this one I call as a string. And if I'm inserting any kind of string for a data item that comes under the data type care in bracket n. So anywhere you find care, that means it will accept only the set of characters or the alphabets. So what is this n mentioned in the bracket? So n is nothing but the fixed length. So how many number of characters are allowed in this particular data item? So for example, when I speak about 10 in bracket, then it will accept only the string whose length is exactly 10. The next one is where care. Where care name itself says where. Where in the sense is nothing but a varying one. That means it do not allow the fixed one, but it has an appropriate varying length of string. So it allows variable string. So it can be of any value. Still the data item will be able to allow. But what is this n? Why is this n mentioned again in the bracket when it is variable in nature? So this specifies what is the maximum length of the characters that or maximum length of string that can be allowed over here. So while filling in any application form, so you might be getting a um, pop-up showing maximum of 30 characters allowed. That means whatever the data you are inserting in the application form, it should be of maximum 30. So beyond that, the data will not be accepted. So next one is your int. Int is nothing but integer. So this is used, this type of data, this data type will allow the data item to accept the numerical values without pre precision. Without precision in the sense you don't allow any decimal point. So when I speak about 10, so 10 means it should be only 10. It should not allow any decimal point like 2 or 3 after that. So without precision, if a value is inserted, that comes under the data type int. Next one is numeric. What is meant by numeric? So numeric is going to represent a fixed point number with user specified precision. So that means here it is allowing the precision. That means whatever the value that is accepted by the data item, having the data type numeric will allow the decimal points that means precision in this it is going to make the value much clear okay so for this we allow two values in the bracket one is uh, the number of disease that is allowed before the decimal point the next value represents the number of disease allowed after the decimal point so in this particular example i have numeric bracket three two that means the maximum number of digits before the decimal point should be 3 and the number of digits after the decimal point should be 2. So it allows the 333.11 3, 3 but it will not allow 3, 4, 3s and double 1 because here the value is 4 and this one is 2 which is not allowed. Hope the concept of numeric is clear. So let's move on to small n. So why, what is the small n? What is the speciality of the small n? So this also allows an integer value, but 
it will allow only the small value of an integer that means when you speak about an age for example so what can be the maximum value of age in maximum cases so it can be 100 yes so that means any value below that 100 comes under the small integer that means when you speak about your um, currencies so your um, amount so amount can't be a small integer there you have you may have to go for an integer directly but as coming to small int so this data type will allow only the small value so why is this specific data type how is this small int kind of data type is helpful for example I already said in previous slides, one of uh, my previous video lectures, like uh, you should be very uh, calculative when assigning the memory for your data. So you make sure that you use less memory for more data. So this should be your target. So for example, for an age kind of um, attribute, if you are putting the data type as in, that means for that particular attribute, more memory allocation will be assigned which is not at all necessary so if you go for small int the required or the small value of memory allocation will be assigned so which is enough to handle this kind of attributes okay next one is real so what is meant by real kind of data so real is something which allows a floating point again a decimal but with double precision maximum of two two digits after the value of the number so this is called as the real data type so next one is float float in brackets so again this represents a floating point with the precision of at least n so it is going to look of maximum of n digits after the decimal point so if you fix your decimal as uh, that means the value of n as 6 then after the value so let me take example 20 20 point so it would be allowing maximum of six digits in this particular area maximum of six digits it can be even less it is fine but the maximum number of digits after the decimal should point should be n so these are the basic data types what are those first one care var care int numeric small int and real so apart from this we also have the other type of data types like binary binary so which uh, allows only zeros and ones next one is where binary so variable kind of binary where we don't have fixed numbers length of binary there is so which uh, which can accept variable length of zeros and ones whereas coming to the text text kind of data type which holds a string that can obtain a maximum length of 255 characters next one is tiny text tiny text so which is very similar to the small int so uh, which holds a string of maximum length of 255 characters same but it can allow below 255 as well whereas text will allow exactly equal to 255 type of characters so next one is a similarly similar to your prime tiny you have medium text next one long so apart from this you also have data types like date time etc but the, if the question is about only the basic type of data types is enough to explain the, the data types that we have seen just now let's move on further in the same question explain about basic schema definition in sql so if the question is about basic schema definition we have to explain about data languages so different data languages that we have in sql are ddl dml and dcl these languages ddl dml and dcl have different set of commands which are used for defining the schema so let's try to see the commands what are they the first one is the data definition language that is ddl the commands that come under data definition language we already know we have seen in one of the previous video lectures first one is create 
alter drop so what is this create going to do create a command is used for creating the new data ta database tables and views the syntax and all let's move on let's see in the next coming video lectures so next one is drop command so drop command is used for removing or deleting the commands views tables data base of relational data so what are these views tables database these are all the object types so you can create all these object types using the create command and you can also delete it and if you want to make any changes in this object types any changes so that there you have to go for the command called as alter so this alter you write alter and mention the name of the data object and make the changes so those changes will be saved later so next one is dm the commands of dml language are select from where insert into values update set where delete from where so this dml commands or dml that is data manipulation language as the name itself says manipulation so it is going to be helpful in modifying or making changes over the data that has been inserted or any operations over the data inside the table we go for dml language so what operations so it can be an inserting operation it can be an updating operation or it can be a deleting operations so let's try to move on further the syntaxes and uh, their details uh, examples i say we'll be discussing in the next coming lecture now let's see the dcl language so what is data dcl dcl is nothing but data control language so this data control language mainly deals with two commands first one is grant the next one is revoke so what is the use of this grant and revoke let's try to understand further next one is what is the next one is about T so along with this tcl we also have tcl which mainly again deals with two commands first one is commit and roll back so what is this commit and what is roll back and what are their uses let's try to see here so when you go for a transaction and if you are okay with the transaction that has been completed so what is this, what is meant by transaction that i have explained in the concept of atomicity in one of my previous lectures so this you can see in the i card over here so if you are transaction or the changes that made in a transaction if you are okay with that then you go for the commit statement and this commit statement will save the changes permanently whatever the changes you made those can be saved permanently whereas if you are by mistake made a change that is not okay for you in the commit statement so you have last option left because i already said whatever the changes you made here will be permanent so if in case you made some a wrong change there you have a last option left that is your rollback so if you use this rollback command this will work on the last commit statement that you have made and you can again undo the changes and then go for commit again so be very clear commit is used for making the changes permanently in a transaction and rollback is something that works on the last commit statement to undo the change and once you make the changes you can again have to go for commit statement to make the changes saved permanently so if the question is about different data da database languages explain all the basic data types and then explain if the question is about the basic schema structure if the basic schema structure then explain all the different uh, database languages uh, because these are something which is used for defining the schema so ddl dml dcl that is data control language last one is TCL. Hope the concept is clear. Thank you.